from Learn It Tutorials. In this session, we're gonna be looking at images and video using the Unity Recorder. First off, we're going to be looking at setting up a camera and then installing the Unity Recorder, rendering the image, animating the camera, and then rendering the video. Let's jump in. So first and foremost, we need to make sure that the image and video are 1920 by 1080. On top of that, we need to make sure that there are no avatars in the image or video, and there is no desktop or Mona UI in there as well. So if you have any of these, it will fail QA. So we're gonna be using Unity Recorder inside Unity to take the animation of a camera and render that out to a video. The benefits of this is that it'll usually be a bit smoother. You can uh, look around a space with less jilting. That happens when using a mouse in a Mona to record. And basically you don't have to do editing if you do good camera work. So you could skip that whole section if you don't have access to a good editor. So in our space, we need to first add a camera, which is down here. Now make sure to delete this after you have finished the render. If there is a camera disabled or otherwise in the space, it will fail uh, QA unless it's doing some uh, interesting stuff with Reactor or whatnot. So there are some cases where a camera is useful, but that's on purpose rather than just left over. So we have our camera in the scene. Now the next thing we need to do is add the Unity Recorder tool uh, or asset. Now to find that we are actually not in my assets or in project, it's in the Unity registry. So make sure you've got package manager, packages, Unity registry, and then scroll down until you see the Unity recorder. Uh, then you might just have install or download, one of those two, and install or download. <laughs> okay, so once you've uh, installed the Unity recorder, you can go to window, general, recorder and recorder window. Now you have options and other things like that, but I don't use those. I just use recorder window. And then we have this. Just for argument's sake, I deleted these two. Now we're gonna be starting with an image for the image preview. So for that, we need to add a recorder. We're going to add an image sequence first, like so. Uh, we're gonna keep this at single frame. So it's just that. Now I could do an image sequence over time, but in this case, we just want the one. So you could have a target frame somewhere. Uh, now I've quickly uh, moved the video to the location that was similar to the last uh, video. So just to save a bit of time, I added that there. Now going down these, we have game source. Uh, we could use any of these. So targeted camera, 360 view, render texture asset or texture sampling. Uh, game view works for me. We want, we don't want to match window size. We want uh, FHD, so 1920 by 1080 at a minimum. Uh, aspect ratio 16.9 is best. Uh, then we want to uh, move our media file format probably to PNG, because that seems to be a high quality. Uh, change your name if you want to. Uh, I'm going to add this to my exports folder. So it keeps all of the files that we need to update to the wallet in one place. So add that, and then you have take numbers. So every time I press start recording, it'll add to the take number. Put this over here. So this is the image that I, I lined up, basically very similar to the, the last video where I used OBS and a print screen to grab the image. But in this case, we just have the one. So start recording. Now it is possible to play around with the camera settings. So FOV, clipping planes and things like that, whatever you like. So if we look at our file here, uh, where is it? Builds, go hacks, exports, uh, we have our image. Now the next one we wanna do is a movie sequence. So let's add a new recorder. I didn't do this, but make sure to uncheck the methods that you are not using, such as the image sequence. We want, let's say, a few seconds. Now we'll do the, the camera animation in a second. So let's say we want this to be, I don't know, let's start with 15 seconds. So we have something to work with. Same again, game view. 
1920 by 1080, same resolution. There's no audio, but you can include that there if you want it. Uh, MP4 is usually good, quality at high. And once again, I'm going to put this in the exports folder. Um, you could, of course, change the file name and the take if you want to, uh, completely up to you. So that's a good start. Now we don't want to do that because our camera is static. So I'm going to drag and drop this in here for now. And then I'm going to create some animation for our camera. Uh, there's no animation or animator here, so we can usually use the animation create. So I'm going to add uh, just an animation here. So camera, just camera. <laughs> Zero one, just in case. I wanna do a couple of different versions. Okay, now using this, I can sort of set up a similar animation set to what I had previously with the OBS. Now, because the record button is on, any movements I will do will be tracked as a keyframe. I'm just gonna zip ahead and get the, a good line of direction for that first path, similar to the previous video using OBS. Okay. Now I'm just gonna put this at say one second, move the camera to where I want it to be. And then once again, because the record button is on, it will automatically make a keyframe. I'm going to keep it with the ease in and ease out because I think that'll be a nice effect, but you can change that with right mouse click on the keyframes. So if we press play, we'll actually see it in the, in the game view, so. So that's a little bit faster than we would like, so we'll have to adjust that in a second. Sometimes you might need to click on animator or another another window and then back to animation to show the keyframes properly. So let's select all of our files and let's go maybe eight seconds. There's a bit of a, a speed up at the start and a slow down at the end, which I don't mind, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so that's our first off on. Uh, now we can go to the next frame. So I'm gonna make sure that we do that. Zoom in with scroll, go to the next frame. And then I'm going to move the camera to the next location Record is on. Now this rotation wasn't done. So just to make sure that there's no mess ups, I'm going to, cause otherwise that will transition between those two. So I'm going to select this, control V, use this to step to the next one, control paste. That way the rotation doesn't change so much. Um, and just to be sure, I'm going to copy these, put it there, so it doesn't do any uh, weird transition stuff. <laughs> so sometimes you need to double check and double keyframe to make sure that there's no blending or transitioning uh, done automatically. So we can now go to here. That's a good shot. Uh, so that's eight seconds. So let's make sure. Let's maybe go six seconds, so eight to 14. Record is on. I do find that if the animation window is too zoomed out, you will, when you select uh, a, a bunch of keyframes that are close together, it'll select all of them. So make sure that you select the keyframes that you want uh, and copy those across. And once again, we're going to make sure that snaps by copying to there. So let's have a quick look at that. Nice and shiny there. Little fast, so I'm gonna slow that down, but I think that's good. Off on. 
So let's grab these and then we can move them, maybe another two. There we go. Okay. Now the last one we want to do, let's zoom right in again. Make sure we're on a new thing, hit record. And this is the, the gallery shot. This is where Unity Recorder is much better because you can have very smooth pivots on the animation. So basically we want to go up and across. Now this is on the, on the local, so it's, it looks like it's tilting. So I'm going to use the pivot center local global buttons up the top to adjust the direction of the rotation uh, with a bit more control so I can make sure it doesn't tilt. As you can see, the video sort of goes across and then up, which is not ideal. So what we can do is use flat. So if you click on all of these and set them to flat, when you rotate, it will go up much smoother. So we have the effect we want. So play around with the handles if the effect is not as you want it. So let's go back to recorder, select the movie that we've set. Uh, now we have seconds, which is what animator works with, uh, sorry, animation works with. So let's make sure that we have the right amount. Now this is 19 seconds long. Now this may be too long to keep under the 20 meg uh, limit. There are ways to compress it, but let's see what the size is for 19 seconds. Now don't forget that I need to turn off the image sequence uh, there as well, otherwise it will make uh, the movie in an image sequence for the whole time. Okay. Now let's see the results of that. So as noted in the process, I did uh, not turn off the image sequence. Uh, so I would turn that off. Uh, that would mean that it doesn't create all those images for the movie as well. So that would fix that up. Note that the video is under 20 meg. So this would actually be perfectly good to put into the Mona wallet without going over. So this is actually good to go. Uh, after that, well, basically you could use any editing program. So you could use Camtasia, you could use Premiere, you could use After Effects, you could actually use Blender, I think. Uh, there's a bunch of resources. Windows has the video editor and Apple has uh, iMovie as well. So that's how you create an image and a movie with Unity Recorder with an animated camera. Once again, make sure to delete the camera once it is done. So you can make sure that you pass QA and that's about it. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching and happy building.